So this is called the block configurator. So I'm going to start with a fairly empty project. So no part numbers, just a couple of contactors and some uh, open and close contacts on there. On page one, I've got a set of three phase and I'm going to place on just a standard grouped macro. So I'm placing it on there, click on OK, select the default values. There's no parts, no sizes or anything. And I'm going to just say that that links with perhaps the, uh, the primary motor there. Click OK. Now, with each of these, when we click on the actual circuit, we can then go to a command for block configurator. And that can bring up a list of variants. So you can fill these in, set the value. When you double click, we can see that all the parts information has now been filled in there. So if I go back to page two, I can see that my relay coil now has got the actual contacts on there. So that information has already been set up and it's been brought in from that configurator. So we can use the same circuit and I can copy that across from left to right and I can give this new cable name and I can link that perhaps with uh, the contactor click it with K2 and I can do a similar kind of thing here by clicking on that click on block configurator and I can set this as maybe 0 to 0 0.16 so I get different motor ratings I get different cable information if I just double click on that I can see the cable size of uh, 1.5 on there and I get the relay contact. So it's got the different parts on there. So very quick and easy to make use of. If I want a new configuration, I simply go back into there and I take an existing one and click copy and I can then assign a new value. So I can say this is a 6.3 to 10 amp and I could perhaps pick a different uh, overload so if I go to PK ZM, pick out an Eaton contact and maybe 6.3, that one there. And maybe a different cable if I just say that that's a 2.5. And then click on OK. So that's a new value in there. And if I want to switch it, I simply double click. And we can just double check. That's now a 2.5. And just confirm that that information is correct. If we go into graphical lists, I can generate a cable plan. And if we just have a quick look in there, we can see we've got a 1.5 on the first cable and a 2.5 on the second. So it just makes it much quicker to select macros and then choose the right values uh, without forgetting to fill bits in. Very quick and easy to use and quick and easy to set up. So a nice new feature.